Hello and welcome back to another daily A-level maths exam question as we can see them for today's video and today's question here we do have a question on iteration. Now pretty standard stuff for this question here then what I've got is f of x which is this cubic polynomial here and then for the first part of the question part a we just want to show that f of x equals zero can be rearranged as the following here. All right so first things first then if f of x equals zero here we can just take f of x as it is here and just set that equal to zero, right? Now we want this result here. And what I can see then is for the numerator here of this fraction, they have 3x plus 11. So to obtain that here, then let's just add 3x and 11 here to both sides. And once we do that, what we obtain here then is x cubed plus 2x squared is equal to 3x plus 11. Perfect. Now at this point here, what I'm now going to do then is just factor out an x squared here because what I can see then again by looking at the desired result here is they take the square root, right? So let's just factor out an x squared here on the left hand side. Now once we do that, what we obtain here then is x squared bracket x plus 2 is equal to 3x plus 11. And this is promising, right? Because they have x plus 2 as the denominator here. So next step then, let's just divide both sides by x plus 2 here. And at this point here, we're pretty much done, right? What we now want then is just x here. We have x squared, so just take the square root of both sides then. And if we do that, what we obtain here is the desired result as required, right? So x equals the square root then of 3x plus 11 all over x plus 2 there. Perfect. So that gives the solution to part A. And now for part B, then what you need here is a calculator. So to perform iteration here on your calculator, what we do then is we input the first value here. So x1 equals zero. So I just put zero into my calculator and press enter. And this just stores zero then into the memory of my calculator here. What I'm then gonna do is replace any xn's here in the iterative formula with the answer button or the answer function on your calculator. And basic, basically, English is really hard. This will just allow us then to perform the iteration that is required here. So let's just quickly do all of that together. All right, so when you calculate it, then this is what it will look like, right? So the square root of 3 times the answer plus 11 all over the answer plus 2. So grab your calculator, input all of that, and then drop my calculator. So press enter once you've got all of that, and that's going to give us x2. So if you've done this correctly, then two three decimal places here, what we get then for x2 is 2.345. Press enter again on your calculator, and this will give us x3. And again, if you've done this correctly here, what you'll get then is 2.0. Seven, and then finally press enter one more time here and this will give us x4 and in that case then what we get here is 2.059 perfect there we go then that gives the solution to today's question